everybody, Gunner Burner. It's Tuesday again, and that means... No storage plate. That's Jag Talk from now on. Nudity on slick paper. It means... <laughs> I thought we weren't going to have another episode. Well, guess what? Here we fucking are. And we'll probably, probably stop staying. And, and we'll have one tomorrow, too. But we're not going to have another episode. We're going to have another episode. <laughs> well, dude, if there's an episode after tomorrow's episode, yeah, shit got real bad. If there's an episode after that, he ain't going to talk much. He's gonna <laughs> all yeah. angry and shit. I can't believe this shit's still going on, dude. It's coming down to coming, it's coming, coming, it's down, coming down to the wires. <laughs> so fucking close with the bank and everything, man. And like the closing. They're doing game. that nice thing where they drag it out so <sighs> long. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking stroke the fuck out. Well don't. And just wait till we're done with this episode to stroke out. Well, You'll be like, well don't do it, Dornes. You'll be like, I don't <laughs> PTK and that'll be the last thing that you see. It's insane. Oh, so yeah, as you just figured out, well, one, because of the title of the fucking video, but also because he said that we're doing the Uncharted Zone. I need it. I'm not doing mentally okay. So, oh, yeah, I so need this will help. <laughs> PTK will help, dude. Well, most likely the bands and stuff will help. Dude, there's always chances of getting Fat Kiss. There's always chances of getting something like Gormley. There's always chances of getting just. The Uncharted Zone is a. It's a thing with things in it. On that uh, note, I got kiss. nothing. I'm gonna go. We, we can get fat kiss. And who don't want fat kiss? Phil right? Thomas Cat. Yeah. Come on now. It's fat kiss. The boy yeah. Phil Thomas Cat here. And welcome to the Uncharted Zone. Well, he looks more older. This, I mean, this looks like a more recent episode. Is floating. Oh, this episode is called Floating. Okay. Ooh, a still drum? I need some chill vibes today. Good man, down to the... Where was it called? It's up to Florida. Something Florida? Pensacola! Isn't that fucking, uh, it looks like, uh, uh, uh Harold Ramis, really. Yeah. From, like, like, right after, like, Ghostbusters 2, we got kind of forky. He looked like, you know. He looked like, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> the bad guy from Golden Child. Like, yeah, was it Ron Silver? Yeah. The bad guy in Golden Child? Was it Ron Silver? Was it? Yeah. No, 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 it was Carl's... sounds like Long John Silver. <laughs> it, was, it was Carl's dance, wasn't it? From, like, Game of Thrones and shit? Yes. Yeah. No, not Ron Silver. Ron Silver was hot cop. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Rod Silver came in my mind. Seth Meyers on bass. Nice. He look. He looks. No, he looks more like what was Ricky? Oh, thanks on drums. What, Suck my dick. What's Ricky Gervais's <laughs> friend's name? The real tall one, Stephen Burton. Yeah, That's what yeah. he fucking looks like. Yeah, I love it. But I still stand by the Harold Ramis. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ramis was pretty spot on. All the rest of them. Where are they? <laughs> in a mall? I think so. Are they like in that band thing? Remember like... With they, Tiffany and all those no, bands? No, like, like, like I think I am alone. Whenever, no. like, they, they were oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Playing, yeah. yeah. Or the mall that the Blue Brothers crashed through. Yeah, remember that used to be a thing? Not crashing through malls. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that's still probably a thing. Now People are shooting crazy. Them up, not crashing through. I don't want to get into that. But, um, 
whenever like Tiffany and all these bands and stuff would perform at malls all the time. That notification bell to be notified of new uploads. Oh, really recent? Must be pretty recent if they're talking about fucking YouTube stuff. Yeah. Love it like you should, and we do. The kind of buzzed Phil Thomas cat here. The kind of buzzed musical performance. I mean, I'm going. I'm doing today kind of sober, man. Alabama, way before so I don't have any beer. Built. I just I don't oh, know. The tune was written by Ted Handley. Handley. Well, that's why I say kind of sober. Story. <laughs> Finding square. But no, I just I just don't feel like drinking right now. I'm Here's telling you, I'm not fucking right, so I don't feel like drinking right now. By Jay Hawkins. Hey, the web oh, telescope the picked up the fucking PTK galaxy. Well, I was laid back and go, so was nothing to do, so I went and got me this yellow canoe. Took I hope this is a canoe. song. <laughs> it's Florida, dude. <laughs> Now the sea was kind of don't automatically be. Even though I make fun of Florida and call it the, the, the country's the nutsack all the time. Well, part of Florida is a nutsack. The other part's the straight up dong. <laughs> <laughs> Florida, the dong of America. Guess yeah. what I found, Lord, my heart was thumping. Cause it was big and bulky, sure is hail. Alright, so far not so bad. I mean, I mean, that's... I don't know, we have a debate, that's sure. what the fuck he's saying. I, I like story songs. I like story songs too. Maybe you better pay attention to them songs that are fucking poopy races and shit. Well, I've always at all. been a straight lace guy. Never drank much liquor. Never got high. Don't like of course you didn't get high, we can fucking tell. Of course you didn't. Fuck! Well, I guess you should say that I'm Del a honest man. Because I Bobby believe in God and Uncle Sam. But today is going to be the day. You mean like the comedian? No, not Bobby. Lee. <laughs> Obviously, doesn't fit the profile for this part. Really didn't matter to me. Read a deep, read a deep, do. Read a deep, do. So, this is what happened to, like, what's his name from Get Even? Yes, John DeHart. John DeHart. I was going to say, this is God. I was going to say, yeah, this is Dale Earnhardt fucking goddamn fucking faked his death and became a country singer. We ain't out getting it home, wasn't easy to do, but when I got there, hell, I tried a bowl or two. Before I knew it, I was sitting there just having a ball. Hey, wait, hey, now is he talking about getting well, high? I'll take a drink, but I must admit, man, this is some righteous shit. Back yeah, down, yeah. I, like this. I think we should have paid attention, boy. Yeah, I just paid <laughs> my fucking time. I we were, we were like, I hope you did the race. That's me you. This guy. What? You know what's that? I hope you did the race. Yeah, but I beat you. Everybody's ringing my bell. <laughs> Well, my wife did not like that idea at all. Telephone. Fuck that bitch. Off the wall. She said, Jane, now you going straight to hell. I said, no, wait a minute, baby, that don't get rash. I just found us a bundle of cash. Play it real cool, you just might get a mean coat. Well, she looked up, and a little twinkle in her eye. Grabbed me by my hand, said, well, let's get high. And friend, that's just about all she wrote. Because now I'm a driver and driver. See, now I would tell you this kind of shit. I was at a bar and getting slammed, man. I would tell you, like, this <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I'm bored. No, what? I said a bar, it's a, you know. Yeah, that's where you normally get slam hammered in a bar. You're normally fucking either bent over the bar or thrown up on a fucking pinball machine like a fucking movie. <laughs> but it's willing when you do it. Hot dog, hot dog, hot damn. It's a hell of a jump start 64 Volkswagen. I've been pushed around to tell you that. When I got me a little 21 foot. It's one of those songs that you're like, like all right, good, great. And now it's, it's, it's good. We're, we're ready to move on. Five miles. We do a lot of night. Come on, BTK. Now. Got sonar, radar. Do Save the bell. Well, so, well, I like it. There we go. Okay, Hawkins. You, Jim Hawkins. That was good. What we heard was cool. Yes, if we were paying attention. <laughs> Save the mail, it's a Holy shit, it, that guy from, from Leonard Skinner, he's alive. Around the world, it's the uncharted zone. It's like, <laughs> K-Bart Vince Vaughn singing a song. Oh, I thought that was Phil Thomas Cat without the hair. 
Oh, you took it off. Regular Joe 2.0. Regular Joe, Joe 2.0. pack. Hair club for men. I hate sandals and receding hair. Okay, dude. Are we supposed to hear this? I know you're in Florida. Oh God, he's with Marjorie Taylor Green. No, but you could, you could the put, you, <laughs> you could the put fucking shoes on for your music video. You're making your fucking music video, and man. Sandals. Whoa, he's gonna bark. He's going to side down too much. Wait, God, he really is regular Joe 2.0, isn't he? Yeah. You know when you have any says, clue what he's know, saying at all? No. Yeah, but you know when somebody says, you know, you look like a human potato. They're talking about this guy. He well, like a Saul Terran from Doctor Who. <coughs> he looks like a character from fucking Squidbilly. Uh, you see a fucking clip. Like where the like you know part of his foot disappeared because of the fucking framing and green screen was shit. Nice. You ever done that with Jamie? Like I was saying, I've never done that with Tris where we just stand there and fucking fill each other's hearts. No, because we're not psychotic. <laughs> I mean, I'm we on the verge of being psychotic, do. but yeah. Yeah, right, but I'm like, you know, we got shit to do. Who has time to sit there and force build each other's hearts? Look at this. Yeah, right. No fucking way. No fucking way. Someone's like, I love you, Kenneth, or whatever your name is. Dude, people, there's women that fucking say, I love you to us. So Joe 2.0 here yeah. ain't fucking goddamn. He can get a woman. Everybody can get a woman if they're Everybody not fucking asshole dickheads. Can get a woman. What are you, Oprah? Yeah. You get a woman. That's why. Look how you sweaty go, oh he is. God. You sprayed him down. That's the first word I understood in this fucking music video. So who sings better, him or Steven Seagal? Vote on it. You sweaty Walt Flanagan looking motherfucker. <laughs> you just see him sitting there looking at all the fucking eggs and was that was that his mom? No, his mom was the milk lady. Yeah, just sitting there looking at all the fucking eggs. Walt Flanagan. I'm so in love with Marjorie Taylor Green. From the album You Wish. <laughs> is that supposed to be a joke or is that, or is that PTK Big and Asshole album You Wish, buddy? Probably. It's the Uncharted Zone. Love it. Like you should. Was the, the, the girls are mighty white trashy in this episode. I mean, Florida. But they're mighty white trashy in this one. They look quite bar fly ish. I'm white trash. Oh, bar flies and horrid. Ooh. Slutty Look how artsy fartsy. Nice. Eccentric. Phil Thomas Cat here. Not and denying that. Not going to argue that. Was captured at a jazz picnic in 2005. Rosie Butler sings lead on the tune. Rosie and Butler. In a way, it's a personal. Butler. Her husband, Rosie Ed Butler, Butler plays Butler. keyboard in the band as well. So from the Pensacola Stacey Yacht Keach. Club, fucking Stacey Keach can play a goddamn keyboard. He's alive. By Rosie Butler on the Uncharted Zone. The surround, the surround, the stereo got all. Oh. Oh, there's the wind. My husband's got a small fucking TV. Of course you oh, fucking yeah, are. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you actually were sticking around for a fucking yeah, no, episode. Fucking wrong. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Rich white people and a fundraiser picnic, yeah. I can't tell, is she hot or old? She's old, dude. <laughs> She's old. She, she like can she, be old, Holly huh? Cassandra she Peterson. She looks like she used to be hot, but just now it's just, just too far gone. Dude, Lindsey Graham on saxophone is doing a way better job than fucking, um... <laughs> dude, I don't know. Hey, it's the fucking, yeah, the Coburn's on the fucking... Oh. The Roger game... Coburn, James Coburn, Coburn can't, Coburn. can't play fucking keyboards. <laughs> well, he's dead now, so he can't yeah, play he's nothing. He's dead now. But he, his I fucking... I know he had the talents. He's an arthritis on that. What? Sorry, man, that sucks. But it does. I can't believe I made a Lindsey Graham reference. And I couldn't think of anybody else to take good bop into my head at the time. No, I just said he plays saxophone. So, break it. Well, we had that conversation about who could work the hooks. I think we oh, have yeah. Coburn in the mix. Coburn's really fucking... I don't think he's only got four fingers on the way. Or is he just squeezing the two together? I think it's because he how's he, how's he, how's he, how's he has them. It, it looks like one digit is I, missing. I think it might be the ankle, but it really doesn't look like he only has four fingers on that hand. It's, it's, it's James Crab Finger... <laughs> Coburn. Coburn. So, so your lady's like, can I come back in yet? Am I ready? Yeah, I said that. I'm just gonna get into this. Yeah, I said that. I said that. I said that. I said I'm ready to see. I'm ready. I'm ready to see fucking Wayne Newton come walking in and them having like selling fuck or serving fucking shark fin and stuff like that. That's my reference. I would still love to do that. that so rocket roll detective. I still want to do that movie someday. It's not a bad movie at all, but it is kinda. So far, I mean, Jay Hawkins was pretty awesome. But so far, this is our most talented musical act so far of the evening. Yeah. Or morning, whenever you're watching this. They hate old people that can get down <laughs> Why would I hate them? <laughs> they can serve their energy. They'll, it'll make they all the fucking... Yeah, energy. they don't sit waste energy by going, like that dude, Easy you know? Big bag boom. Yeah, that's so great. You're like, baby, baby. They barely get down. It's like she, her feet move like. Tut, 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 tut. We came to UZ because we saw the Mark Gormley video, um, without you, and became fans. Hey, isn't it that fucking bud that was singing the song? We saw he just put glasses on. Hard lessons, uh, no, I think that's a different pud. This looks like a younger pud. Young pud. Young pud. And so we did, and here we are for a second time. Yes. You were watching the Uncharted Zone. On Love Young Pud. Like you should, baby. Woo! My goal in the music industry is to have fun and make enough so I can buy three boxes of Cracker Jacks every morning. That dude is stoned today. as fuck. Right? <laughs> He's like, I'm going to buy Cracker Jacks, man. Jacks, man. Every day in the God. morning. I love UZTV. I'm actually from Lansing. I'm not from Northville like them, uh. Yeah, I'm from Lansing, so... Okay, Dude, it's some people... Saying, I'm obviously I'm not. <laughs> some people uh, just shouldn't grow, like, a beard and stuff. When it's all, like... It's like werewolf well, happy uh, transformation. Yeah, he's like... It's... Uh, it's dick. Oh, he's trying. Give him credit. Plus, you know, I'm all about, like, body modification. I'll tell you. Wait a minute, that's goddamn... What's his name? The drummer! No, yes! But no! Yes, Tommy! No. Tommy something or other, right? 
two toes? Get oh, the Tommy, the I, toes? Tom, whatever, from here, from the Uncharted Zone. Oh, yeah. But he looks like Michael Ironside. Yes! That's the, the joke we did about the yeah! They're rocking the fuck out. Yeah. Is that that chick from Absolutely Fabulous? Yeah. <laughs> I want a bass drum. Are these people actually playing this music, or is this a, like, dragon sound kind of thing? Yeah, Michael Ironside, it's a bass rocking out in your fucking face! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a fucking cavity creep. <laughs> it's, it's Angry Green Grimace! Maybe that's the name of the song. Angry Green Grimace. <laughs> Angry Green Grimace! Ah, the god! Angry Green Grimace! Let me in there, my wife's eyes! I need to use the bathroom! Bathroom! <laughs> bathroom! <laughs> bathroom! Good going to the episode again! God damn it! Why is it look like. Hey, look at a Ford! Let me in! I'm in the bathroom! Dude, they fucking, like, why is it looking like Wireside's goddamn, like, Joe T's, like, all a scheme? Because it probably is. <laughs> Angry Green! Ha 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 ha! Shot him right in the cock! <laughs> Angry Green! So, Rivers. old Lita Ford, Michael Ironside's. Sire Ironsides and Darius Rucker from fucking Hootie and the Blowfish got together and made this fucking band. I, I like it. You like it? I'm, I'm, yeah, but I'm sad. I'm, I'm sad that Angry Green Grimace is gone. Yeah. Me too. She looks like she's got a knock over me. She gets in close. Dude, I bet Le old Lita Ford Gary was like, never mind. That was even too wrong for me to even. Why are you there? I'm not. You know, are there aliens about to bust out that ship at some point? They should have this little Geiger counter thing, so, you know, like whatever. Yeah. Find them. That's what I fucking asked said earlier, too. I was like, are they. Is this a dragon sound kind dragon of thing? Dragon sound. It doesn't sound like the bass that she's playing or whatever. Yeah. It's going with anything. Yeah. Is Grimace coming back? I hope he comes back. Thank you. Attack of Angry Green Grimace Part 2. Okay, I'm kind of over this now. Yeah, a little bit. You guys, I love the, the like little part of the photo that's still there above the, like, right by the fucking booster there, or right yeah. by the thing. We needed we needed lyrics. Some maybe. Well we provided some, didn't we? Angry Greg Grimmage! Angry Greg Grimmage! Bathroom! Yeah. But now, as he said, we're over. Oh, they are landing. One small step for man, one giant leap for PTK. Oh no, he was just frozen in. What's that shit? What was that thing called in Superman? Where they were frozen in that thing or whatever? No, you're not gonna help me out on all your. Like, I can't think of it. Use the TV. Shadow. Was it like you should? Shadow Realm. It's the Uncharted like Zone. Yeah. Wasn't that Mortal Kombat? Love it like you should by subscribing to our channel. I was like, well, where'd that other voice come from? I'm like, hit the notification bell to be informed about the latest releases. Oh, yay, from the archives. What are you going to give us? The Persevering Sussex. Phil Thomas Cat here. Did you just want to say the purse of... I had the opportunity the to talk to Norman Vickers via Zoom. What's your oh, mind? well, wait a minute. So we got a, like, a uh, fucking Zoom interview with some old guy? 
Like, a jam wait, session we get to, like, downtown. We get to watch him on talk to Patrick afternoon. Stewart here melting. And it, it had been in the paper. <laughs> I'm going out for a cigarette. Stuff. Fuck you, and, you are. Uh, you had to sit here and watch so Kmart fucking Patrick Stewart talk to Phil Thomas gets, Biscat. Uh, comes in. He's dressed in a t-shirt. Uh, I swear to God, I'll, I'll do I some. I recognized him and introduced myself. But you're a dick and, and your uh, black book. You no, know, he said, yeah, I'm Johnny Gimbal, the... And I said, gee, I sure hope you brought your violin. <laughs> and he said, oh, it's Gee, I hope I don't did. look like so David Carradine and somebody blasted him in the and face with a flame He played the entire two hours, worked him hard. And you I worked him hard? Well, good for you. End, Grandpa Patrick Stewart. was wet this under the arm. Craziness. And yeah. uh, he'd worked so hard playing the fiddle. And I. Uh, this was the beginning of our relationship. Probably a great guy. We really had respectful him and a, come just a couple to a dips. couple of jazz fests, and we had him come at the <laughs> other time. Uh, so uh, the way he got to Pensacola was when he was he swam. in Nashville. He had discovered the racism, uh, the seashore, <laughs> and, and he brought it here the uh, national park. And would come down to camp, and even after he and Willie Nelson moved back oh. to Texas, uh, he would come over with his wife and uh, pull a trailer and uh, just kind of camp out. And he'd fish a little and go to the beach and whatever. Nice guy. And uh, like I say, he was a good jazz player. But made his life playing country music, as you know, well known. You know, and, I uh, feel, I don't have anything okay. bad to say. He, I already said something bad, probably, probably a couple hundred a times. Member of but that, uh, oh, he's gone. Texas Swing Group, uh, but there as a young guy. Wish I could hear it a little better. And uh, he and Willie were friends in Nashville, and uh, after they went back to Texas and. They fucking they say this guy's name, and I missed it. The same group. Hope they say it again. Uh, his group was separate, and uh, why, Jesus Christ! Gimbal I did not expect you know, it to cut back to fucking <laughs> Looking like he was just and, pulling his uh, pants up. Uh, the uh, <clears throat> Will and Nelson group was uh, not the same way, <laughs> <laughs> but they were remain good friends. And uh, when Willie had a movie contract, yes, wrote a contract fuck you, you are. Johnny Gimmel would have a part, so I saw him. <coughs> all those I started digging. Fuck you, um, Clint Eastwood. I started to dig in on in your ass, yeah, into my <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I started to dig in on this guy. He looks like the old, the old guy from fucking Monster Squad. Time for another piece. Well, but he also looks like Heath Ledger's Joker. Scary German guy. I got these scars. Looks like scary, scary German guy from fucking Monster Squad. And but like, then I realized, wait a minute, he's kind of a respectful person, probably, and he is. So I'm like, you know what? I got nothing to say about old scary German guy. Played fiddle. No, since you got to leave, and fuck. went to a couple of the camps. Yeah, see, you're listening to old, just uh, fucking scary German guy Patrick Stewart here talk about Willie Nelson, some or other, not a do do, and then it busted in with a fucking Phil Thomas fat real quick. That daughter was all scary looking, like full, like full screen. Because you never see Pete. His fucking head is full. Dude, you never see PTK full screen. You always see him in little things now. He's like, the smaller we get. He was pulling his fucking pants up. brought his wife and his son, who's a uh, music professor. Oh! You didn't tell me this whole thing was going to be an old an interview with fucking. Like, like I fucking. Like I knew. Like I had any fucking clue. All I saw was dude floating around on green screen singing like, a, like Joe. Yeah, Normal Joe 2.0. You know I want to go back to fucking uh, Angry and Green Grandma. This was the last time he was here. And interesting. Cavity creeps. Cavity creeps. Johnny had had a stroke in his frontal lobe. 
And uh, I don't want to think about his name. I don't want to think about Johnny having a stroke. He said he could remember the chords for his music. I've never missed you so much in my life. I don't have any. I didn't want to buy any because I didn't want to drink any. Like I say, that was the last time we we saw him. And dude. Nice guy. Monkey dust. And he was shy. Monkey dust. In that Monkey uh, dust. He was, not, he was not forward, wouldn't push himself. No. And uh -uh. An example. Of I don't want to drink. Uh, he went to Seville Quarter when. Trying to not drink for a little bit. Group going. And nobody recognized him. And uh, of course, he wouldn't go up and introduce himself. And no. so he never got to play with him. No. would have liked to. Unless and you're pouring it in there, don't be drinking out the fucking bottle. Okay, that's my Don't be drinking out of the fucking bottle. <laughs> well, you know, I always knew. Uh, that was oh. uh, that's what I told you. That's what it looks like. <laughs> and when he gets close and smiles, he's got veneers. The feeling of community amongst the jazz music community and the country swing dance. And yeah, okay. That, yeah, that, that swing group was uh, basically a jazzy thing. Yeah. Uh, that he was in. Um. As a kid growing up, yeah. I could hear jazz from New Orleans, but our radio station in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, played country stuff. And uh, the, Bob Wills, thank you. Like oh, yeah. Bob Wills. <laughs> well, I do appreciate it, Norm. I appreciate you talking to me about this because I have this footage, and I just consider this guy a legend, and, and I'm excited about playing it on UZ. Right. Okay, and I and I want to thank you for all the neat things that you've done for the Jazz Society. Those jazz videos society? that uh, yes, that we we said. Cycled, I, was, I want to say jazz uh, sizing, but I just repeated exactly what he fucking I said. You the uh, musicians that came to the Jazz Festival, and uh, you were oh, Long Johnson. <laughs> oh, oh long interview with Pete the Gay. Oh, I don't want to talk about anymore. chromatic harmonica. Go yeah. away, Pete Decay, Long Johnson. You know how that's different than the diatonic. Yeah, 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 you say goodbye once already. You, Wrap it up. You did the, uh, the tune that uh, we have done at the channel. Wrap Thank you it Oh, yes, uh, it's, it was wonderful. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed all the... All of the years of, of, of working with the jazz musicians, and, and it was been fun. Okay, and and the one that I that I tell people about was oh, we ever did when something. you had me on the green screen so and yes. playing, and you had all really these nice scenes we gotta sit from there the jazz festival in the background. I want to see shit songs. And, uh, I want to see so Bing, Bing, I, Bing, 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 Bing. I use that. Want to see that uh, blonde several, bitch? I want to see other things. I want to see shit. Nasty fucks. I don't want to see this shit. You know what? And two. This is a disappointment. Uh, disappointment. Uh, that was a yeah. really chromatic tune that I played. How much is bullshit that, uh, of this? I don't know. The, uh, chromaticism. <laughs> how am I supposed to know how long he's going to be on here for? That the diatonic ones don't have. Yeah. 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 Jazz oh. dark blues. You, you, you labeled it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, I recall it. It was fun. Of course. I've enjoyed a lot of them. I enjoyed your performance at the uh, library. I'm sure his performance. I'm sure his performance was great, was though. But fantastic fuck on the piano. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know, I tell. People, I said, I'm sure he's a nice fucking guy he's distinguished. Yeah, all that fucking shit. Probably been through a whole bunch of shit in his fucking life. But yeah. moving the fuck on. But a, uh, a chromatic harmonica is portable. And so you think of a tune, or if oh you drive them along, uh, you play that one-handed and, and drive. Can't do that with a flute or a violin. <laughs> That's right. It would not work well, or even a piano, for that matter. In the not, not even a piano, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I appreciate right. you. I really well, thank appreciate you. you. I, I, I look to see the finished product. All right. All right. And goodbye. All right. Yeah. Have a cool afternoon. There you go. There you go. Yeah, good right. luck. Bye. No, it just ended. Here's our love is here to stay by the legendary Johnny Kimball. Ooh, a new song. Ooh, it, from the from a jazz gumbo thing. Not for one year, but every 
Why did you bring two? Just in case. In case what? The ghost in the room wants one. The ghost of Jerry Whittington? Yes, he's got a bunch of fucking balls for the white thing. I'm My brain is fucked, man. Said, like somebody repeated it. Right? Ooh, it was like a fucking brain color game. Flat top on violet. It's like Peter Boyle's fucking Frankenstein, you know. He, you know, he's older now and he's playing violet. You know, he's learned. He learned because of, you know, the doctor or the man telling him about it. He was my boyfriend. <laughs> Oh my god! Seriously. It's okay, at least it ain't that goddamn interview. Yeah, 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 yeah. With that, yeah. With that probably most distinguished, you know, very nice Patrick old Stewart. Man, Patrick Stewart. Old German guy. guy. Fucking Jared Leto's joke. Not Jared Leto, fucking Heath Ledger's joke. Said, please, BTK, end this interview early. And he went, No! No! And let that shit go. And now we're sitting here watching. Fucking old man flat top on violin. Uncharted Zone. Love it like you should. Uh, what? Why, what? Ooh, what? Oh, yes. shit. It's getting what's trippy. This? If it's just like some ending thing, it's just gonna be like credit. Take well, show. that's gonna do it for the show. Fuck week, you! Friends. Keep in touch. And have a cool night. Have a cool night, everybody. Keep in touch. You just poured yourself a fucking shot. Yeah. Oh, really? Who the fucking Jay Hawkins? This was a shit one. No, well, Jay Hawkins was awesome. Yeah. Jay Hawkins okay, was Jay awesome. Okay, Jay Hawkins. Ty Brockin! Fucking dude floating in space was fucking kind of awful and great. Yeah. Fucking the green, angry green grimace. Yeah. We also it's had... We had that chick... Singing the whatever bow to Bobby Joe, Billy Joe. Yeah, so but, yeah, an old guy robbed us. That was yeah, a lot of that last jazz number was kind of. It was fine. It was fine. It was, it was serviceable and yeah, and good and everything, but disappointed. A little bit. Yeah, we should do another one. I don't have another one. And then do something short. <laughs> we ain't got nothing. Well, you want to do something seriously. You want to do something fucking else. I think you got jipped on that. So you want me to just randomly pick something short that's in the file? It, randomly. It? Something short. All right. I guess we're going to keep fucking going for a minute. 
We'll be right a back. <laughs> For a smidgen. There's one thing that Pete would just as soon eat every day of his life. He really goes for those noodles, so I give him the Campbell life. Pete's idea of the perfect lunch is any lunch with Campbell's chicken noodle soup. There's lots of chickeny flavor and little round noodles for him, but not a lot of work for me. That's noodle okay. Give me the Campbell life. Well, so we decided. We fucking decided. Well, I kind of decided that since we don't got much shorts. You're like George so, Bush, the decider. We so we need something short. We are now, if y'all stuck around, we're going to watch some of the great Daryl oh, Nathan, <laughs> which we haven't had it. We don't have enough for for a full episode, but we have enough for right here. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna start that shit right fucking now. Okay. So I need to buy a mouse. <laughs> Like a, like a, like a pet mouse? Or you mean like a mouse? Oh. All right. It's a brand new song. For a brand, a brand new day. day. New year. Oh, a new year. year. New year, goddamn Get ready now. I'm ready. I mean, I need some. I think I might need some Daryl Nathan in my life right now. Sometimes you need some Daryl Nathan in your life. Check it out. Hit that Mambo button. Oh shit. Oh wait, we might go a little too, we're going too fast, I think. A little too fast, a little too fast. I don't know how we're gonna make sense of this at all. Dude, I swear to God, this is great. He, he, dude, he don't even, he's like, wait, wait, maybe I should slow it down or maybe I should keep going. Oh, it's I think oh it's God, flipping. He's, he's I don't think <laughs> you're like doing some scanners all year. You're like. Did it this? Did it this? Did it this? Did it will. It's gonna take to a heart. It's gonna take to a heart. Spin it will. Spin it will. Spin it will. Spin it will. Sorry, his white shoes are completely baby fucking. Everybody can stand spinning wheels. Everybody can stand spinning wheels. Spinning wheels. Spinning wheels. To Daryl Nathan. To Daryl. Spinning wheels. Gonna take your heart. It's gonna take your heart. Uh oh. Cooch's mustache is falling off. There we go. Spin and wheel. 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 Spin and how is this song not even halfway over yet? It's so fast. It's gonna take you higher. Yeah. Watch out. Oh, Darren Nathan, you're exactly what we need. You want me to show you how to do a spinning wheel? He's going to show you how to do a spinning wheel, dude. Okay. Okay. Get ready now. Here we go. Oh, fuck, oh, he shit. did it. He's going to do it. Get up and do a spinning wheel, Daryl. <laughs> Don't break your hip now. Dude, so he's doing it. it. Oh, fuck. You can't. <laughs> Oh, you're getting to my gut anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting to my gut. 
you were doing a front butt spin. <laughs> that's yeah. okay. It's allowed. I think that's allowed. Right? I think Daryl Nathan. We needed Daryl Nathan more than we needed PTK. Like Daryl Nathan has completely raised my fucking mood up like 100 percent than it was like before we went on the little intermission at the end. He, did, he took you all. He even show you how to do the spinning, spinning wheel. wheels. I mean, you should. Sure, we, we, you're right. We should have went with Daryl. Right? We, we don't have enough for an episode, though. That's why I never did. We only have three videos, which equal like 12 minutes, maybe. But it's it's perfect. It worked out, man. I'm glad these are here right now. I mean, I would prefer not to have the whiskey burp, but you know. Spinning wheels. Nice work in that trend, or nice use of that transition there. He's probably access guy. I told you. Ready, ring, ring. I would really rock a, a, a wig yeah. like a, oh. a, a wig like that. I would wear a Daryl Nathan T-shirt with his face all big right on there. Yeah. Woo, he's right, man. Them spinning wheels, I sure make you wizzy and dizzy. Did he write this on like Cody Island or something? That song was dedicated to Dawn. Who? Dawn. Okay, so that's always dedicated to Dawn. To, to Dawn. Okay. So we're gonna go. We're gonna play the next song we have from Daryl Nathan. Nathan. Can we? Hope it's as good as Spinning Wheels. Me too. You want to call it Spirits of the Night? I'm gonna load up a load load load. Bleh. You know what? I can't talk. I'm gonna load this up again. Spinning Wheels. It's got a nice groove to it. Yeah, the tempo is nice and light this one. The last one, you were a little supersonic on it. Spinning wheels. Of the night. <laughs> Wait, is this Rocky, like Rocky Horror? <laughs> it looks like Halloween, like. Speaking of which, I don't know if anybody thinks about it, but, like, if you're thinking of, like, Halloween stuff and whatever, go to Big Lots. Big yeah. Lots is rocking all the Halloween stuff. Don't sleep on Big Lots. Everybody, Spirit Halloween! Fuck them. All their shit breaks in ten minutes. I'll say it's the Big Lots stuff, too, but... Yeah, 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 but I still like the Big It's cheaper. Lots. I like my local Big Lots. All the ladies there are nice. And all the shit's always nice. Yeah, I like big I've always, been taken I've over always by liked fucking big Walmart and all that shit. It's like, it's like, I always come in. I'm like, you guys aren't leaving anywhere. You're not. You're not closing, right? And they're like, no. We're like, okay, good. Like, if you go, we got nothing left. But you're talking like big lots isn't a big ass fucking corporation. I mean, it, it is. is. It is. I, I, I like, they're everywhere. I know, but I still like my local big lots. Yeah. You know, the buildings are like older and shit. They've been there forever. Nothing else is up there on that hill. <laughs> that's but... <laughs> right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Living like fucking. Yeah. That's a, you don't have to get into anymore. I'm just saying. Well, I didn't say that. I was just yeah. gonna say like you know, jump cut. Not sort of. Me. You live somewhere in the city. Yeah, hey, fucking city. Yeah, it is. You're a city. The city is a city. And you live on the edge of it. And we, hopefully, by the time this, hopefully by the time this fucking comes out, we'll at least own a house even slightly more on the edge than course, yours it's, is. It's a city on the outskirts of Pittsburgh, so it's more like, you know, we built this city on... on Still yeah. and coal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cold. Oh, we, we forgot to pay attention to Daryl Nathan. You piece of shit. You were the one who started talking. I was damn it to Spirit of the Night. Oh. Oh. So I guess we're just moving on to the third one. Like, 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 like Gloria Estefan. You can't get that with the that rhythm night. of that night. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to Daryl Nathan tonight. Traveling 24 hours a day. All right. Brand new song. It's a, it's a brand, brand new song. song. <laughs> a brand new year. Get ready. 
ready now. Oh, we're oh, ready. I'm fucking ready. 24 hours a day. Come on, Bokey. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, we're going supersonic again. That's how you get, like, two guys at once, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you have in front of you, though, you know, so you're doing like a... Well, there'll there be a third one out front. <laughs> 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. This deserves it. This what is the, the best song we've heard all day on here. 24 hours a day. But not to me. <laughs> hey. I love how they're hearing the song, but they also hear the squeaks of me and your chair. Hey, chair. Squeak, 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 Not no more. <laughs> But they're not buying mine! No, no, no. Well, they are now. People yeah, actually yeah. go and buy these headphones. And vinyl, too. 24 hours a day? You're right. Fuck yeah. Really needed some yeah, you're right, dude. Dude, I'm smiling. I haven't smiled in a fucking minute. I want your autograph. I want it. <laughs> I would thought you would have said my pretty face. 24 hours a day. Hey. Yes. He's been traveling. 24 hours. 24 a day. hours a day. Uh, I love Daryl Nathan. Daryl Nathan is great. No question. Dude, I would totally go to a fucking Daryl Nathan concert and rock yeah. that shit. Fucking A! <laughs> I fucking would. Everybody's like, are you guys serious? Like, are you goddamn, you goddamn right. right. Goddamn right. Like, dude, my dream would be able to put a concert <laughs> together with all these fucking weirdos. Yeah, dude, like, yeah, dude, like, yeah, dude, like, like, egg roll. I want egg yes. roll to come back. Yes. Like, they'd be old now, so I want egg roll God, to come back now. Yeah. I would get that band, those, those kids, remember? Nah, that gun. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> or what about the, the what about the planet? Yes, yes. I think we talked about this right. years ago. We how did. that would be awesome. Yeah. yeah, and fucking what's his name? Oh shit. All right. Oh. Gormley. No, yeah, him, but um, candy pants. Candy pants. Candy pants. Oh, I wonder if I ever kept any of those. God, I would just love to do that again. <laughs> do like, just for like a, as a side thing, just have her come up on stage and go, Kylo! You know? <gasps> and dude, I want to have the dude, he loves a fat girl. Yes! Oh, yes! Do that whole <laughs> dance. Yes! 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 <laughs> oh. oh, so oh. we've done so many good things. I mean, no. we haven't done any good no, things. No. But we've watched we, many, we've many watched good, good things. <laughs> That well, we consider good things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah, yeah. are like, that's not good things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it I is. Mean, it to us is good things. It might not be good things to you, but, but it is to us. Yes. And to us. No fuss. No fuss. <laughs> it must decrease. Or what us. about? Or what about the fucking that metal band? They had that video and they're like, Yeah. You remember that? One? I can't remember what that one was not called. Sure. That yeah. was, but yeah. But yeah. 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 
On that note, we got her a bird. Yeah! We'll see you later. Hopefully, the break is coming soon. Or Dude, your this mental break is, is going to... Soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is don't worry about the break. Your break will come. And they will do because you'll be insane in the membrane. We'll see you later. When you show up with a bag of dicks... You mean like cut off dicks or do I just go out and buy a whole bunch of dildos? I really hope it's just a bag of dildos. <laughs> oh, I mean. For your sake. That'd really, really, really be insane if I went off and chopped off a whole bunch of dicks and just came on I to mean, an episode. I've been coming to me like, why dicks? I, mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, your, the, your guess is good. I mean, it would be during an episode, so I'd just pull out a bag of dicks. I'd be like, why are you coming here? I'd just be like, Dude, I and dump off yeah, the bag of dicks. I should be like, I die. <laughs> dick, dicks. Yeah, then I'm gonna be like, why, yeah! why dicks? I'm excited like to fight dick. game, man. Why, why dicks? Why, <laughs> dick? Why, why dick? <laughs> You're like, e, e, dick. I, I get dick. I chop dick. You're like, why did you chop dick? Uh, like, so why did you chop all kinds of dicks? <laughs> So I was traveling 24 hours a day. I chop dicks. <laughs> 24 hours a day, chop, chop. I don't, rec re re I, I don't recommend chopping dicks. I'm done anyway. It's over. It, well, it's not over because there's going to be more outtakes, but this is it. Yeah. But I don't recommend chopping dicks. Nobody recommends chopping dicks. I'll take cream soda. I like cream soda. I like you, Danny. It's the only one I brought. You can have. Ugh. Well, are the others like diet or zero? Because I don't definitely don't want that. They are zero. Then I definitely don't want that. But yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. <sighs> so, here we go again. Nathan Bateman pulls in and his sister's bum. <laughs> I like Allegedly. it. I'm going to do it. Stick it in his sister's bum? Yeah, hell yeah. What's your little black book there? Oh no, it's just something I'm trying to do to help the mental state. I took one of those cards, those postcards that I got in the mail. Err. But not just like keep notes and stuff. No. Oh. I'm trying to be. You were just keeping like names and stuff. He no. pissed me off and she. I mean, I might, I might not be that far from that, but <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Yeah. You're going in the black book. Um. I guess it's more kind of just like, well, it's actually helped me a few times already, but just like whenever the house goes through, be more productive and keep track of things need to do and just whatever. Just try to be more productive and more organized. That's why I'm throwing myself into this cover manager thing to try to make myself more responsible. But of course, this is never going to fucking change. I can say it better times. We're going to get work, but I'm never going to figure out what we're going to do before the moment we do it. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding? Are you serious? Are you, are I'll you... be like, we're going to do this. Write that shit oh, down. Things, and they like, go you there. You get organized. Are there any other part of your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, fuck it. I am. I was like, but this? You can't. Ain't going to happen. We can't. Yeah, Because you're, you're going to be like, going to do this. No, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. We'll get, we'll <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's our process. Like, we're like. Just pick some, yo. <laughs> Until we finally go. Ah, ah. Here's Coos. <laughs> oh, God. That's probably going to be Tuesday. He whoa, released, whoa. He released whoa, whoa. a movie called John 316. Oh, shit. Is that like... Whoa. Isn't that like... A Bible verse? Oh, I thought that was like Steve Austin's thing. <laughs> but... Or it's not 316, 3, whatever. I know it's, not, it's, uh, Austin, it's Austin 316, but isn't it John 314 or 3? I don't, I don't give a fuck. fucking know. But dude, yeah, I saw you saw that too. Ron fucking commenting, commenting on that. Commenting. On that bait main episode. <laughs> bait main! Bait and, main! But, yeah, dude. How? What? He's like, I still like he your makes episodes. I mean, he makes her want to fucking come. Bait me! <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. But no, um, but I don't fucking get it, man. I don't know. Hey, Where's it? We've been so 
extra blah on uh, Raw. Sort of, but not really. If you look back, dude, I'll tell you what. Like, we've had fun doing this. Like, just trying to figure out the fuck he says half the time. You know? And just, but like, I don't, I don't know. It hasn't been hate at all. It's been actually, we've just been like, yeah, there's blah part of it. Because sometimes <laughs> this shit just drags the fuck on. Sometimes. Right? Well, okay, all the time. <laughs> yeah. But for the most part, we've been having fun. There's parts in there we had yeah, good times. But, you know. I still can't believe that he still be watching our shit, man. You sure it's him commenting now? Well, who would it be? Him or Matt? Matt. But why wouldn't he get back, get back a hold of me whenever I fucking... Or, well, I don't you know, know why Matt wouldn't just write Matt. At the very end, right? <laughs> it's, it's me. Yeah. Not and dude, look how he ends all of his comments. Does Matt exist? He, we don't know. Yeah, well, dude, look how Ron signs all of his comments. He actually puts a fucking Ronald Koontz. Koontz movie. Ronald Koontz. Or, you know, Koontz movies, blah. Right, and right, it's right. like, that's an old man doing that shit. That's like he's signing I a fucking letter. Tell you, like, Ron Koontz for president. I would tell you, though. Oh, uh, we don't know about Ron well, in no, real no, life. No, 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 no. <laughs> I know Ron's cool. Yeah, you're right. But anyway. And, if, you know, and, and I'm sure Ron's platform would be a hell of a lot better than what we got now. <laughs> and what we've had for quite some yeah. fucking time. Not that I'm complaining too much about Joe. He's doing okay. It's just that, you know, I like a little better. And everybody's like, well, we had that with Trump down, ding, 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 do. Like, no, we motherfucking dead. <laughs> I'm tired of you fucking people trying to Jedi mind trick everything like he fucking did. I did more for black people than my everyday gig you. I did more for this than my everyday gig 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 you. And you motherfuckers for like four years were like, <laughs> got bombarded with that. And now you're just running around going, he did more for this than this than this You fucking did it. Speaking of. We had energy and independence. <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking did. I fucking hate that shit. That's the motherfucking one thing that they fucking say yeah. on the internet. We energy dependent on Trump. No, we motherfucking didn't win. When? <laughs> you make up fucking whatever you want to. Say rigged, hoax, fucking witch trunch. But don't fucking act like that. Because we've been taking fucking gas from Saudi Arabia and Russia for fucking ever. Under him and everybody. I was like, they're like, oh, no, under him. And no, 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 no. Well, fuck you. They act like we had some kind of goddamn utopia under the... Fucker. And I'm also like, you know, they're always like, oh, uh, whatever. I want them to go. Well, dude, I, I have a feeling. I, wanna, I, I have a feeling. I want a space shuttle and say, hey, there's a planet called Planet Magga, and there's no black people. Or I had a feeling. Gay. I had a feeling he was going to end son, up. He was going to end son. up pulling a cigar and fleeing to Russia. But now, fucking since Putin's <laughs> fleeing, have you seen he's in hiding? What right he now. is? Mm-hmm. He fucking better because be. Because of the draft stuff or he whatever. He fucking better be because half the, half the country's like, all right, you know what? Enough of you and your titties out. Get him! <laughs> like, get him, Russia. Don't fucking stop letting this guy treat you guys like fucking assholes. They're always like, Russia's in the dark. I'm like, it don't fucking have to be, you know? All they gotta do is throw all these stupid assholes out and try to, you know, be uh, little junior dictators. Isn't Putin like three foot tall? Somebody kick his ass. No, he, he's seven foot nine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to accidentally fall out of a window, you know. Oh, he tripped and fall out the window. <laughs> yeah. Like, you didn't try to save it? Yet. Oh, I just want to hit this a couple <laughs> more times. And then I'm going to hit you a couple more times. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Yeah. Are you dude, like fucking human Eeyore? No, dude. I'm, well, yes. But, um, <laughs> no, I'm almost on the verge of being Ooh. like, I'm almost Edward Norton from Fight Club. That's how insane I'm getting. This is like, I just need to feel that I'm alive. His something. name is Robert Paulson. You know what? Well, go pour some acid on your hand or something. And I'll fucking hold it there. No, better yet, Punch me use in the your ear, cock. I guess. <laughs> We're gonna put your cock down and put that acid on the tip of your dick. And you squirm one time. I'm chopping it off. <laughs> well, that'd be fucked. There ain't no way in hell. They'd be like, that'd be like the four rooms thing, you know? Oh, yeah. motherfucking Honda Civic. Chop your dick off. Ten seconds. <laughs> My lucky Zippo. Dude, I fucking watched the thing. We were about, speaking of Ron, we were talking about his crab king fingers cutting his dick off, and I fucking died. What? <laughs> he said about, <laughs> he were like, oh, he trimmed his fucking, 
his his ball hair to match his fucking thing. And I was like, dude, his crab king figures would cut his dick off. <laughs> All shaky and stuff. Little tweezers. Just chop the waiter right off. Clean. How bad was this? I don't remember any of that. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't remember a fucking thing about any of that. Calling the EMTs. Like, what it is. <laughs> what I'm saying what I'm is saying I is cut my dick I'm off. <laughs> Yeah, little Ron's over there somewhere. Cat got him. Or the dog. Or the dog. Then the ghost of Jerry Whittington's yeah. like, ha ha ha, that's what you get, Ron, for putting me in all your movies. Without my permission. Yeah, and then you'd have Wheezy up there, but like, you know. Grab my nuts. Oh, grab my nuts. We need nuts. the information now. <laughs> grab my nuts. And then Donnie Chester just all okay. Know, so okay. So looking here, like so what was the name of the Ron dude? Wait, wait, wait. What, what was the name of the dude in fucking um, <laughs> Ebenezer Scrooge's fucking business partner that came back with all the chains? Oh, uh, Mar uh, Mar Mar Marley, right? Uh, was it Marley? Was it? I don't know. Okay, he well, just threw it out. There. But ever Donnie Chester come out covered in chains, looking all like that, <laughs> like the goofy version with his yeah, fucking yeah, the yeah. thing and the <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. See, I was gonna say, we don't talk half as much shit about like Ron. Like, uh, we we kind of spare Ron. We go after all his buddies hardcore. You ghosted Jerry Whittington, Frog Neckman, no two. You're Frog Neckman. <laughs> That's right, I am Frog Neckman. <laughs> He's not. But like but Frogman. He, Frogman. Yeah, and then there's Chip Drift on face, fucking, you know, scared that man around here. You said we don't go after Raw. We do, but not as much as you go after Dig at them. I said, go, 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 okay, okay. Sometimes we talk about his dick now. He's in his fucking kick cap. And his fucking fingers. front butt. And his, his goddamn butt. child hey, bride. He's got his... a goddamn <laughs> glorious front butt. And he ain't got no child brides. That's fucked. <laughs> well, I was talking about, like, for that one movie. I wasn't saying in okay. real life. Yeah, but. And fucking James Bond, Sean Connery was like a thousand years old, and they were like, "Go lace with some fucking 20s. And he was like, well, "Sure." Why are you talking about like like the um? I got my little schmuck. The unofficial one, the one with like was it Kim Basinger? I think was <laughs> I, in that one. Was it? I think so. The yeah, one that sure. wasn't that isn't canon. You know, it's not yeah. a canon. It's um, what was it Never Say Never Again? Give a little schmuck with my dick. <laughs> Yeah, he liked to smack the women. Yeah, do a Sean Connery the best I, you can. I, Look I, at you, like, ah, 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 ah. Well, you're like one of those people, you put them on the spot, you'd have nothing. You know? I have nothing $50, all the sir, time. $50,000, microphone right in the face, $50,000, fuck doing an impersonation of fucking Gilbert Goffrey, you'd be like, nah, yeah, yeah. Even if it sucked, all you'd have to do is go, nah! <laughs> like, there, there's fucking Gilbert Goffrey, where's my buddy? Uh, <laughs> you know, when we just sum up fucking Gilbert's career, it's uh, there you go, and everybody's like, "That's disrespectful." <laughs> yeah, Gilbert I mean, would is, fucking but... like it. He would probably like it. So piss off. Like we start no. or end this now. Start or end this. Well, because we're in outtakes well, land. I just put things in. We're still talking. Uh, we in such a hurry for. These fucking Can't wait things. to get into PTK. Oh, wait, there's things on the side of it. Yeah, the vinyl fucking thing. It sticks in my bone spots right fucking here, so it sticks to my fucking head. Maybe that's just to make sure it don't come off in the wind. I don't know. Right? No, this one's big as fuck. Like I said. As much as I love Boss and Scally Caps, man, their sizing is inconsistent. But yeah, dude, this one in the wind would be like, swoof, gone. Yeah, Bill Burr wear those things all the time. Well, I don't know if it was that brand, but like, you know. <coughs> all the guys are Bastion. Bastion. Wear those. I knew one person from Bastion. They were a Bastion. <laughs> Just a dick. Just talk nothing but beer. Hey, did you ever take that Red Bull out of my freezer? Oh, the, I thought you had another one. No. Okay. Well, I said, what do you hear? I said, what do you hear? Pop! Pow! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>
<laughs> well, at least it's Red Bull. I'd make soda, I'd, like Coca-Cola or whatever, like everywhere. Same fucking thing. I'm a dang. I'm just saying it's not like, you know, that color. Yeah, true that. But no, you just, you'd be the one cleaning it. <laughs> like, you clean it inside of my fucking freezer, bitch. Yeah. I'd be like, ah. <laughs> Hey, look at it, time. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's happening. <sighs> so I do love how on the last episode, I was like, hopefully this is the last one. It wasn't. Here we are again. Never will be. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then now I'm hoping that, I mean, well, we'll obviously have one Tuesday, another episode on Tuesday, which will probably end up being goddamn Ron. And that better be the last motherfucking one. Because if, if, if that one's not the last fucking one, well, then that's some gone. serious fucking... Gone to shit. Yeah. And I, I'm sure you'll be really happy on the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hi, well, everybody. I'll be introducing it. He don't want to talk yet. Well, how about we, just, we just say that if... Uh, we should probably still keep doing it. We're going to. I was gonna say, like, if no matter what happens, we're gonna go on break after that. You say that, and everybody's still going. They're gonna keep doing. Well, not if it goes through. Well, not if it goes through, then (laughs) we won't keep doing it. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, we'll do other things. (laughs) Yeah, you'll be doing Russian roulette, and I'll be doing. No, that'd be like if it doesn't go through. One jump. One jump. Yeah, that'd be if it doesn't go through. Yeah, but a cap gun, just to, you know, make sure you're still around. Change, change of mind. Which would still hurt your ear, though. Your eardrums are like, bang! <laughs> when April showers, they get in rain. So, yeah, I mean, it seems like this is going to be all fucking, like, down to the fucking wall. I already told Colin. I, was like, I mean, yeah, Colin's a manager, but he's not like the main boss. I already told him though, and Mike should assume. I was like, if this fucking shit happens, and it has to happen on a Friday. I'm fucking coming in. <laughs> well, yeah. So between certain assholes, eggs, and getting your house, I do yeah. need your house. The fatties that need eggs, they'll be there. Oh yeah, and so will the other, the other people cooking it. I just won't be one of them. Right. They'll have to call like one of the owners or something will have to come in. Sorry. Don't mean to sound like Animal from the Muppets, but <laughs> sorry. So can we start this now, please? Or end this now, please? Hold on, I gotta do something. Ah!